A remote-controlled robot scanning the bottom of Lake Coeur d'Alene is helping to solve a mysterious death. Tonight, a Post Falls family's long wait for answers is almost over. Cooney County Sheriff's deputies have recovered the body of a man who apparently drowned in Lake Coeur d'Alene last month. A witness says Robert Joe Meadows jumped off the boat he was riding in July 7th, about 300 yards from Arrow Point, and disappeared. From our North Idaho newsroom, KXY4's Jeff Humphrey joins us live along the lake. Jeff, deputies had the help of some very specialized equipment. Tori, they used both a side-scanning sonar as well as a submersible robot, but Marine deputies here will tell you it's that married couple who knows how to run a lot of equipment that made the big difference here today. For more than a month now, friends and family of Joe Meadows have stood here on the shore of Lake Coeur d'Alene wondering, how did Meadows end up in the water and why did he refuse to be saved? Uh, his friend made a, an attempt uh, at getting to him, getting a life preserver to him, uh, but he was unsuccessful and, and unfortunately Mr. Meadows uh, went under the water and, and was lost at that time. Cooney County Sheriff's deputies have spent the past four weeks looking for Meadows' body. Using side-scanning sonar, they can peer into the lake bottom with surprising clarity. This is what a sunken sailboat looks like, and on Friday they spotted what appeared to be a body. Side-scan sonar uses sound to create images of things on the bottom. That image was 137 feet below the surface, a little too deep for rescue divers. And so Gene and Sandy Ralston sent down this robot nicknamed Petey. It has a grabbing device on it which will grab a hold of a wrist or a belt or a piece of clothing. We prefer a wrist and then uh, gently bring him to the surface. While other companies charge thousands of dollars for their services, the Ralstons only ask for travel expenses. This is the 63rd body they've recovered, and drowning victims' families view their results as priceless. When someone goes missing and you don't know if they actually have died or where they are, uh, there's always that doubt, and it's very important to families to have the remains returned. And getting those remains returned does a lot more than just give a grieving family closure. Without a body, you can't get a death certificate. Without that, survivors have a hard time either collecting your life insurance or settling up your estate. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.